it's a hard life out here. So the goal is to go out trapping and get some fur. And the animals out here that are growing with the land will make garments that are meant to be on this land. This is what I'm looking for right here. I got a natural game trail. The animals, they continue to use this because the snow's so deep, they take advantage of any sort of little like natural trail that they make. And being on the border of this lake, there's a lot of natural cubbies for me to set some traps, but I have to be able to find them. So I'll take advantage of the bank of this lake and this game trail. I honestly think I could take advantage of this little spot because there's a lot of these little alders standing up and I could use that as a way to funnel the animals to the front of the trap. So I might, might make that little game trail. You know, I gotta walk up to the trap. So using snowshoes kind of makes a nice little trail for them. And what I'll do is I'll make a trail going to the front of where I'm gonna build the trap. And then I'm gonna make a connecting trail to that game path that I saw over there. Middle of winter is the prime time to trap. The reason is the fur is the thickest, and that's the type of fur that I'm after. It's a much better cubby than I thought it was gonna be. I got these thick branches uh, to work in my favor. Uh, the back of it is just kind of naturally encased and enclosed, so the animal won't go through the back and steal the bait. It's gonna come around to the easy access, which will be the front. This is the caribou stomach from the last caribou I'd shot. It's all frozen. It's technically fresh. This is the stuff that uh, wolverines and scavengers and fox like to eat. So I'm gonna offer them this. I'm gonna throw it all the way in the back there. I've used leg hold traps in the past, and they're not always my favorite style of trap. So these are body gripping traps, and these are the most humane traps you can use, and they're my preferred trap to use. So I just take this rope, put it through the hole here, string it through, pull here, and what that does is compress the springs. So these are compressed, these springs, and I got a little clip that holds them on, and that's kind of like the safety. This is the trigger, so if a wolverine or a fox or something like that came through, it's gonna hit these, and this trap will close on it. Any curious animal is gonna find itself inside the body trap before reaching the bait. There's no suffrage, there's no pain, because these things are these things are dangerous, man. I mean, this could easily break my arm. Something you got to feel confident with, you got to feel comfortable with, or um, you're gonna get yourself hurt.